Hi, this is Brown and I've been uh, toying around on my Bastion. There's been a lot of controversy around this frame um, regarding its effectiveness in combat. I've been trying to get it working, so to speak. I've um, equipped a bit my multi turret, my uh, sentinel pod, my charge pulse generator. The thing is, I'm focusing on keeping everything alive. A lot of turrets have low HP and they die a lot. Really, a lot. And with, rip with the charge pulse generator, I'm gonna try to push away all the creatures that melee attack my turrets that will prevent them from, well, it will half the damage they take generally. The only real danger will be the monsters with ranged attacks. The sentinel pod is for healing. Um, you don't really need to reduce its cooldown because it rarely dies. Uh, all I put in was the lasting module to get its um, snare duration increased. The other two are just level 40 whites to get the power rating up. Here on the multi turret I have a fast deploy so I get um, a little extra short cooldowns compared with the uh, charge module so um, and I also got two extra deployments um, yeah it's you can set it up so many ways it's really personal preference all you need to do is get power rating up HKM station I got um, I went on the charge speed and tanked all the rest well, there is not really anything else Buff duration maybe, but yeah, I don't know. I just want to get five HKMs uh, during a dumper, which is good. I don't know. It's I'm, I'm not really sure about the whole Bastion game yet. Um, my Tesla rifle mainly for healing my turrets during boss waves because they take a significant amount of damage. I went for long mag module. I'm not sure what the slot in is for the rest, but um, Magazine sign on this weapon is the way to go, definitely. As perks, once again you can slot so many different perks. I've just went for extra magazine size, the repulsor perk, so melee creatures uh, get pushed away. Extra firepower, extra health, and overseer, the shields. You could take for extra reload speed. Um, there is even a bolt. I have not got the resources to buy it yet, but there are rocket turrets, very expensive, and you can slot up to four rocket turrets with the modules, the increased deployment modules. Um, the trick then would be to have rapid kinesis assemblage, so you have even more HKM charge and high yield capacitors, so you refresh your um, ability cooldowns, and um, that way you can deploy a heavy turret, pop your HKM, deploy a second heavy turret, and by the time your um, HKM is full, you do the same thing and you can get four heavy turrets in the game. Um, you have to make sure that they get at least a little bit extra duration, and that's about all the advice I can give. Um, one would say repairing nanots is uh, a must have, maybe at lower levels, at higher levels it only heals so slow and so tiny it's it's not not really any any good it's, it's yeah rubbish I don't know um, harden for yourself maybe yeah resistances um, in a dump you wouldn't need speed running speed because you're not gonna go far from your turrets anyway you don't need to jump you don't need much that's that's about it. So I'll sh I'll show you some uh, videos, some uh, snapshots of um, the actual combat. Okay, so um, here you see me do a personal tree dumper. Um, the boss wave is nearing. I'm gonna replace my turrets so that I'm sure they won't despawn during the boss wave. Um, one of the things to watch out for is big creatures with AoE attacks. You'll see one come up and I was too late to aggro it. There it is. I, I did not manage to take the aggro so the turrets will get the full load and um, be destroyed instantaneously.
At this point I have to redeploy everything which is a bit of a hassle because I just deployed everything. Um, that's why I went for a short cooldown in my multi turret. Um, and here you see I, I picked up this one just in time, avoided a re attack, and that's how it goes. Personal tree tempers aren't much of a problem if you're aware of this uh, weakness. So here, um, a personal, uh, a, so a squad dumper tree. I've invited some friends because it's just better to have some, you know. <laughs> um, I've deployed around the base. My uh, goal is to push away anything that comes close to the dumper. Uh, that's the best AOE I've got with the charge pulse generator. Um, once again, you see, I'm gonna redeploy my turrets because the boss wave is nearing. It's uh, it's effective during up to this stage of the process, but um, you're not gonna be shining in DPS uh, output. It's just average. It's good enough to to uh, well, to do it. This boss wave, however, uh, <laughs> totally uh, makes a small chop wood of my turrets. Uh, I'm forced to stop doing damage myself. I'm going to be um, healing my turrets up to up to uh, a point where um, my DPS output would have, wouldn't have been much of a difference if I sacrificed my turrets and went for uh, dealing damage to the creatures myself. So you'll, you'll see me struggle to heal them, redeploy them. Uh, damage is average. At least I'm making sure nothing is really attacking the dumper. While uh, the rest is uh, having fun blasting uh, away at uh, the chosen. Turret destroyed. I will definitely try to make more videos with different approaches. I'm still working on the personal shield and the rocket turret, so stay tuned.